Thanks, Novella. There's so many things I want to do in Santa Cruz before summer, but so little time. Well, then let's take a break and focus on entertainment elsewhere. Well, then. Miley Cyrus, famed actress from the Disney Channel's Hannah Montana, has signed a seven-figure book deal. The book will be composed of memoirs of her 15 years of life. The climax will most likely take place in third grade, when she turned her life around. Parents are frustrated with the Disney Channel, because after some risque photos of Cyrus were taken for Vanity Fair magazine, they feel betrayed in allowing their children to watch the show. Beware, Tween America. Hannah Montana may become Hannah No Fanza. Well, to tell the truth, Betsy, I really don't give a... Beep. But something I do care about is the local bus drivers. Here with our Around the Campus in Three Minutes with Adam the Bus Driver is Lonnie Jones. On any given day, it may be Adam coming to pick you up here at bus stops such as this one at Porter at College 8. So let's get some information about the real Adam. Where are you from? Uh, Buellton, California. It's this really small town about half an hour north of Santa Barbara. Are you married? No. Do you have any children? Not that I know of. What is the uh, official title of your occupation here? Official title? Wow. I guess that would be a core bus driver. Yeah. <laughs> guy. Guy. Core bus driver guy? Yeah. While riding the bus is almost too easy, driving it may take just a little more thought and effort than we may assume. I, I assume that in a job like this where you're sitting often, it's very important to uh, secure your buttocks in all ways possible. Any, any safety precautions you take for your rear? For my rear, not so much for my rear, but for my back, with that lumbar support, you know. I don't want to have like a chiropractor problem when I'm 25, so, you know, I've got this little thing where you pump up air and the seat kind of expands a little bit. That's pretty cool. I have a doll where you pump up air. And, are that a different thing? Well, Adam's got the bus running and he's finishing off his inspections, so we're about ready to hop on. So let's see what it's like taking a trip around the campus in three minutes with Adam the bus driver. Have you ever had any uh, traumatic events driving the bus? Any unusual experiences? I hit a deer one time, and that kind of sucked. Because I was just kind of lying there for a while, and I was like, Sh killed the deer. But I got up after a couple minutes and ran away, so. It came back to life. It came back to life. I like when students talk to me when I drive. I don't like it when they just sit there, you know, because then it gets boring. And I like when people say, you're welcome, but, or I mean, thank you. But then again, I got to say, you're welcome like a million times. It's kind of old. Okay, what's one thing you hate that students do? I'd say when they talk on their phones, like right in the front, it's super annoying, just all loud, and like, oh my god, I did this on the weekend, it's so fun. Just like, dude, shut the up, like, you know, I'm trying to drive. When I'm not driving the bus, uh, I like to play guitar. I've been playing for about 11 years, so I play almost anything, you know, I play jazz, rock, blues, a little classical. Um, I have like a funk rock band called Semantic Triumph. It's playing at the Catalyst on the 22nd. You guys should all go. It'd be pretty sweet. Missing the bus may force a person to resolve to the horrible un-American act of walking. But you don't have to worry about that when Adam's your bus driver. He's the kind of guy who'll stop for you. So now you were just running and, and Adam the bus driver, he could have left, but he didn't. He waited for you. How do you feel about that? I feel very thankful that Adam stopped. Would you say that this makes Adam a wonderful bus driver? Wonderful bus driver. I've run before and stand at the window and nobody has opened the door for me. So. And they take off right without you? Yep, and it's just not very nice. It's tragic. Yeah, very tragic. I mean, I'm a student, so I know how it feels. It sucks, you know? Gotta get lit on. And now here we are at Social Sciences. Let's talk about a couple hypothetical situations. Some of them may sound a little extreme, but I think they're all potential scenarios you may find yourself in. Now, all right, scenario one. Someone on the bus gets bus sick and vomits on the floor. What do you do? Personally, if someone did that for me, I'd be so pissed. I'd like, I'd make them send the bus and clean it off because that's just bull****, you know? It's like, it's not my fault. <laughs> All right, how about this one? Very traumatic. There's a deer on one side of the road, a student on the other. Which one do you hit? It depends if the student's a biker or not. How might that affect it? Well, if it's like an annoying biker that takes up the whole lane and goes super slow, then you hit the biker. But if it's like, you know, a little deer, then you hit the deer. Adam, are you a good bus driver? 
I'm a good bus driver because I go the speed limit or below. Not above. <laughs> it's like the uh, bus driver equivalent of a teddy bear. Yeah, he is very huggable. Would you say you're a better guitarist or a bus driver? Ooh. Assuming your boss doesn't watch this. Oh, better guitar player then. Oh, Porter. Call Jade. All right, slugs. Well, this is my stop. Thanks for riding along on this week's AC3. Adam? Lonnie? It's been real. It's been real, man. It's been real nice. Let's do it again. Let's do it again sometime. Right. Lonnie Jones reporting for Banana Slug News. Keep on slugging. On a day-to-day -day basis, one expects to see many colorful characters here on the UCSC campus, but it's rare that we see anyone in military garb. On April 22nd, for the first time in three years, military recruiters set up shop on campus during the annual career fair. Here's Julie Bien with the story. I'm standing in front of UCSC's College 910 Dining Hall, the site of last week's anti-recruiter protest. Students and faculty members gathered here on April 22nd to protest the presence of Marine recruiters at the annual college fair. This is the first time recruiters have been back to campus in three years. Many students and faculty members feel that they should have stayed away. I think the worst part about the military's presence on campus is that the campus is forced to have the military here from, uh, because of the Solomon Amendment. The Solomon Amendment um, dictates that any institution receiving federal funding must allow the recruiters equal access as, as any other um, as any other uh, uh, employer at a, at a campus career fair. I'm at this rally today here because I don't support the war. I don't support the recruiters coming onto campus, and I don't support what they're trying to do in the war for the students. Um, However, not everyone chose to participate in the protest. Adam, a student here at UCSC, a former Navy medic and current member of the Naval Reserves, talked to us about his personal take on the recruiter controversy. Now, personally, for recruiters on campus, I'm all for it. I was in the Navy, and it took a lot to get myself in there. I had to track down this recruiter. I had to drive there. I didn't have a car, actually, so I had to either borrow one or take a bus. And then I had to go and see him and everything. And if you came to my school, I would have just been able to do all of that in one day. Now, everyone's saying, we don't want these recruiters on campus. They're going to recruit people into the military and they're going to be evil. And just leaving the whole thing aside, I think it, this is UCSC. These students here are not stupid people who are going to be brainwashed by a little be all that you can be. When someone feels a strong need like they did to protest and to organize stuff, they should go ahead and protest. It's, if it means that much to them, they should go and start these rallies and shout out and tell everybody what they think. Because it obviously is very important. Even if I don't agree with what they say, I'd like to see them out there. I like to see them doing something and trying for something and being true to themselves instead of just staying at home and sulking and going, this isn't right. I just feel that, you know, take your opinions to where it matters and do what's right and do what's going to get to effect, get the job done. UCSC Military Free! UCSC Military Free! UCSC As long as public universities take federal money, they will be forced to allow recruiters on campus. And as long as recruiters are allowed on campus, there will be an ongoing battle to make them leave. This is Julie Began reporting for Banana Slug News. That's it for this edition of Banana Slug News. But if you haven't gotten enough, slime over to a computer and check us out online at www.youtube.com slash banana slug news. We'd also like to take this time to bring your attention to Measure 34. As a result of cuts in funding for student media, ESN may cease to exist next year. If you'd like to ensure that Banana Slug News continues to bring you the up-to-date quality buzz around campus, vote yes on Measure 34 in the spring student elections. Thanks. Good, good news and good, good night. night.